Hi everyone, I'm in the middle of doing my monthly analytics and I am taking a breather to give you this video because I thought, you know what? It might be fun to talk about numbers. And I am sort of a numbers person. I always loved math as a kid and worked in finance for a while. And, but I will say my Excel skills are super basic and I, a few people have seen me real time doing Excel and they're like, <laughs> what? And I'm just like, I know I should take a course, but I'll just sort of stumble my way through. But with that being said, as a business owner, you know, even as basic as you're beginning to do these spreadsheets, there was a time this year where I'm just like, I don't care how basic, how beginner this is. I need to have some tracking of these numbers. And as you're more and more advanced in your business, there's all these dashboards that you can buy and pay for and they aggregate it aggregate it but there's something about doing it yourself that gets you really close to the numbers as painstakingly as they are i'm like looking up at my screen checking as i'm going one by one and it's the story the numbers are telling you know and if you have this record of last month versus this month what's doing well what people are liking and i applied to y combinator for winter 2023 winter 23 winter 2023 you gotta forgive me i've been staring at this spreadsheet for the past hour or so and you know apply to yc and like this video happens to get a lot of views comparatively to other videos that i've done on my youtube and if i wouldn't have been checking this i would have no idea and there was many years of my business like the first three of my last business that I just didn't check the numbers. And again, how basic they are, I'm checking the numbers, I'm getting this information. And wherever you are in your business, there could be some fine tuning, some up leveling around the numbers. And remember, they're telling a story. And so when I do my numbers, I bold like the most interesting things that I'm seeing. Oh, wow, you know, 94 people clicked my social connect page through my click through on, on say, my web page. Interesting, you know, what could I do to make that a little bit more interesting? Uh, oh, wow, you know, my total followers on LinkedIn went up 50, you know, from may to uh, may to july what, what was going on there so your numbers are going to be your numbers your stories about the numbers are going to be your stories about the numbers if you feel scared of your numbers i get it i so get it and i would do this and i still sometimes do this i think this is a natural resistance a natural um like maybe it's self-sabotage the fear of success fear of failure whatever you want to say uh but it's getting in the practice of doing it and start once a month it doesn't need to be that you're doing this daily start in something that you're actually going to do do it if you're already doing it what can you make a little bit better you know what's going on in the coaching world there's so much great things going on in the coaching world but there's such simple tools that can help you go from where you are and where you want to be and these questions of what What's working what's not now now what and using the numbers to tell a story can be a really nice way to do that so I hope this is helpful I would love to hear from you what numbers that you find the most compelling to the story that you are learning about yourself that you want to be telling and remember right this like YC application super random but it's like this is in some way maybe inspiring someone maybe helping someone maybe it's shitty it's super shitty who knows uh, but you can see and you can rewatch and you can understand and uh, making making content serving through your content right it's not about me it's about how I'm serving and this then affects my life and me uh, but this this is how that circle of internet life continues and in the circle of life continues so cheers to wherever you are wherever you're headed and uh, remember breathing breaks mindful moments what did I say a peaceful pause that was something that came through in a coaching session yesterday taking your peaceful pause a moment for inner harmony inner realignment and again making sense of these numbers what can this inspire you then to do more of to serve in a way you may not have to get creative uh, all right I'm rambling have a great one